call it the good news, bad news of growing old. As more Americans live to old age, their hearts are simply wearing out. It's estimated that 5 million people in this country have AFib. It is a very common rhythm that we see as people get older, and so the general trend over the past 100 years has been for uh, increased life expectancy. So a lot of people now are living long enough so that they're starting to develop some of these types of problems. AFib is a condition where an electrical mix-up causes rapid and irregular heartbeats. Instead of beating normally, the heart's upper two chambers quiver, and it affects blood flow through the heart. The lack of coordination may lead to blood pooling in the heart. Most people don't feel atrial fibrillation at all, and that's part of its problem. Oftentimes the first general clue that somebody has atrial fibrillation could be some catastrophic event like a stroke. Many people feel a quivering sensation. It may come and go. Although it's associated with the aging heart, some of us are more likely to develop AFib. As we see people who live longer with heart disease, um, that the atrial fibrillation then becomes a byproduct of other type of disease processes that, you know, years ago would have killed somebody. And the fibrillation can be associated with hypertension or heart valve problem or prior heart attack or sometimes in people who have sleep apnea can have atrial fibrillation. Once AFib is confirmed, doctors determine the level of treatment. Many times medication is enough, but higher risk patients may undergo surgery to alleviate the condition. The goal? To keep people young at heart. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.